Hi everyone, welcome to Anu's classroom. In this video, we'll be talking about performance budgeting. By the end of this video, I hope that you will be able to understand and appreciate the, the evolution of performance budgets and understand the concepts that go behind performance budgets. So let's get started. So far in uh, MMPC4 series, we learned about budgeting and we saw that budgeting is nothing but the technique of expressing largely in financial terms the management's plans for operating and financing the enterprise during specific periods of time. Any statement of budgeting must provide for performance appraisal as well as follow-up measures in order to be successful. So traditional budgets. The traditional or also known as line item or object account budget enumerates estimated expenditures by either type or quantity for a specific period of time, usually one year. Okay. That is, in traditional budgets, we estimate the expenditure either by type of expenditure or quantity of expenditure for a specific period of time. That is usually one year. Okay. This expenditure is classified by either uh, by the object that is personal are listed by type of position and the budget is divided into multiple sections according to organizational units or department sections and all. And the type of expenditure is listed by category. Okay, so the primary purpose of this kind of traditional budget was to ensure that there is financial control and also to meet the requirements of legal accountability. That is why traditional budgets were created. So traditional budgets had their own advantages like it helped induce planning by aiding management in setting realistic goals endorsing a communication and coordination, evaluating performance, motivating employees as the process or actions needed to achieve the goals are clear. But it also had a few shortcomings like the objective of traditional budgeting was to express the actual expenditure and that cannot exceed the budgeted allocations for the same. The traditional budgets give more emphasis on the financial aspect rather than physical aspect. And usually traditional budgets were prepared for different items of expenditure like salary. We are like we are budgeting this much amount of rupee for salary, this much for stores and material, this much for rent rates, taxes, etc. Traditional budget is but not so effective when we are talking about controlling activities at the time of preparing the budget. That is it cannot measure the actual performance criteria. Maybe we will be able to say like for example, uh, we have 1 lakh rupees set aside for salaries. Okay, and we, uh, what you can say, we had requirements also, but um, by the end of that one year, uh, all we had to do was we had to spend only 80,000 rupees for, in terms of salary. It might be because we got uh, low cost labor or it might be because we were able to, um, some of our, uh, some of the people may have left our organization, there might have been attrition, but whatever it is, that is not being measured. And whether with this particular amount of people, okay, uh, are we getting our, uh, service lines or are we getting the maximum benefit or productivity out of these people that is also not measured in traditional budgets. All we know is that maybe we have uh, come within the budget or we have gone outside the budget. If we have already filled our budget means we will not be taking any more people that is all. Okay, So that is one drawback in this traditional budgeting. We were not able to identify exactly whether the performance of uh, what you can say the performance criteria was met or not. So what happened is that we came up with a new idea of budgeting called the performance budget. So performance budget or program budgeting as it is also called has been designed to correct these shortcomings of traditional budgeting by giving emphasis on the management's considerations or approaches. So both the financial and physical aspects of budgets or uh, activities are incorporated into this budget. Uh, therefore, you can say that a performance budget will present the operations of an organization in terms of its functions, programs, activities and projects. So, a few of the features of performance budgets are that in performance budgeting, precise detainment of job to be performed or services to be rendered is done. Secondly, the budget is prepared in terms of fi functional categories and their subdivision into programs, activities and projects. Thirdly, the budget becomes a comprehensive document as well. Since the financial and physical results are interwoven, it facilitates management control. So the objectives of performance budgets are to coordinate the physical and financial aspects, 
to improve the budget formulation, review and decision making at all levels of management. To facilitate better appreciation and review by controlling authorities like legislature or board of trustees or governors etc. as the presentation is more purposeful and intelligible. To make more effective performance audit possible and to make uh, to measure progress towards long term objectives which are envisaged in a development plan. So that is it for this video. I hope you understood about performance budget. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you still have doubts, let me know in the comment section below and I will try my best to rectify or clarify them. So until I see you in the next video, bye-bye.